All right. Hello. Good morning. Thank you very much for joining us. My name is Laura Visconti. I am a customer solutions representative for the Workforce Solutions for Tarrant County. I am currently hosted up in the Alliance area. I very much appreciate you coming and joining us. We're going to get started with the welcome and information session. For those of you who are just joining in, especially via mobile, if you wouldn't mind, you may find yourself having to flip your screen vertical and horizontally just to make certain that the screen fills out. And also you may want some pen and paper at the ready, that way you can take some notes along the way. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So again, thank you for attending this session. What we're going to be doing is going over no cost services as well as resources that you can expect to find here at the workforce. And what we're here for is to assist you in finding and keeping a job and progressing along your chosen career pathway. A big thank you to our veterans. We really appreciate your service. We do wanna let you know that we do give priority of service to veterans. In addition to giving priority of service to our foster youth. Whenever you come into the office, just let us know that you're here. So that way we can make certain that if there's additional resources that we can offer you that we don't neglect to do that. So just a little happy heads up. Unfortunately, we are not unemployment. We have no way of accessing your unemployment insurance claims, your appeals, your claim status. I wish that they would give us access to that, but unfortunately that's all handled through the Texas Workforce Commission. But we are here to help you in supplying you with contacts. So at least that way you can get connected to the right resources. Uh, for those of you who are having trouble seeing it on the phone, I do want to let you know that the phone number to use for unemployment services is going to be 1-800-939-6631. And don't forget that you can go to the Texas Workforce Commission website and use their virtual chat to get your questions answered or passwords changed. And there's also the option to email unemployment by emailing them at laborinfo, that's I-N-F-O, at twc.state.tx.us. So let's talk about workintexas.com. What that is, it's the state's work search site. What's really nice about this website is not only does it require customers to register, but it also requires employers to register as well. This is so that way we verify the employer. You get to completely customize your workintexas.com account set up your own parameters, whether you're looking for a specific occupation, a specific area within the state of Texas, maybe you're only looking for part-time or for evening shifts. You get to completely customize this. It is a job search agent, but I will say that in order for it to work for you, you're gonna to wanna to make certain that you fully flesh out your account as much as possible. Kind of like when you take your best friend out to lunch, if all they tell you is they want food, it doesn't really give you a clue where to start. Same thing with the website. So one of my suggestions to you is when you register, make certain that you visit paths on your dashboard. That's P-A-T-H-S. It's a nice little way to keep track of what sort of skill sets do you have, technology that you've done, did you fill out your background so that way employers have a good idea of your past employment history, or your education, the more you fill that out, the easier it's going to be to use workintexas.com. What's also nice is that it is a resume builder. You can have up to 10 resumes at a time, so that way you always make certain that you are displaying what kind of occupation that you want, because we know that resumes are no longer one size fits all. You can either build it from scratch comprehensively, or you have the option to upload your resume online. Just be aware if you're going to upload your resume, that's all well and good, but you'll want to make certain that you fill out the appropriate text boxes because the system will not auto populate your information. And what I see too many times is that when an employer goes to view your resume that you've uploaded, they're going to first see the text boxes incomplete and not have the option just yet to view the link to upload your resume. So we want to make certain that it's all there and out for them to see. With WorkInTexas.com, what's also nice is that it has a job match advisor to improve results. What that is, is it will tattletale on you to tell you how well you're matching up to a job. 
So if you know that you're a great candidate, but maybe your scores are a little low, you may want to make certain that you've really filled out your account, because if it's not known, it's going to think that you may not be the greatest candidate for it. And we know that you are. You just got to make certain that you show off all of your capabilities and experience. I say on WorkingTexas.com, don't be humble. If you've done it, write it in. Just make certain that you're being transparent. What's also nice is WorkingTexas.com does have a career information resources. Maybe you're not ready to put in the finances or the resources to switch careers just yet. You want to do a little bit of information hunting. You'll be able to find a lot of information, including labor market, on WorkingTexas.com. So again, if you haven't already, make certain that you get registered. Give yourself plenty of time to do so. So that way you can start using our resources as well. We are here to help you. So make certain that you find your closest workforce center. So that way you can get some assistance. Uh, I do have to stress, however, that workforce centers are currently open, but this is by appointment only. So again, this is WorkforceSolutions.net. What we're looking for is job seeker services. I'm going to give it a click once. Then I'm going to scroll down to workforce centers. From there, I'm going to scroll down further. And we're going to click on in-person services. It will bring you further down to let you know that, again, if you are trying to make an appointment for the resource room or for in-person services, you will need to give us a call. So that way you can set that up or like I'm showing you right now how to do it online. So it's nice as it will show you when we're closed. So that way you know how to uh, schedule your time appropriately. But here's our reservations page. So what's nice is you can find out which one of us is closest to you. You can visit the locations page, but let's go ahead and give this a test shot here. So right now you'll see my screen is only offering me one time, but maybe I had something set up for later. Just for example, if I said I wanted to come in much later, you'll notice that the time availabilities are then greater. So for example, let's click on nine o'clock here. So you would add in your name, your email, your phone number, make certain that you check off this little box here, and then you can book your appointment. Again, this is by reservation only, so make certain that you come in at your appointment time. Um, unfortunately, we won't be able to let you in any earlier than your scheduled time. Again, we're trying to make certain that we are keeping up with uh, CDC regulations as well as keeping things clean in the office just so that way it's safe for you and the staff alike. Come in wearing a mask, come in at your appointment time, as well as make certain that it's just you coming in because unfortunately we won't be able to accommodate any guests that you're trying to bring in. It'll just be you only. You'll also notice a very helpful link called Career Coach. So what's nice is that it will show you everything between some resume builders to looking at maybe other jobs that you're interested in. And for those of you who are using it for the first time, it's also got a little tutorial. So you can either visit Career Coach using this link on the bottom or back up here at the top. For those of you who have felt that maybe you're tired of doing the same occupation for XYZ years, but you're not certain where to branch out, this is a great way to take a look at what other possibilities to look at for your career pathway. I always tell people though, if you're going to do the career assessment, make certain that you give it a very strong opinion in your answers either a very strong dislike or a strong like, so that way you don't get wishy-washy results. You can just as easily browse careers, so that way you can find out what sort of education or credentialing may be used, what sort of pay, because what we want to do and whether or not it's going to help pay the bills can be a different kettle of fish. Or even more resources, whether you need help with resumes or veteran resources as well. And don't forget, there is that little video if you get lost. We get a lot of questions about training. When it comes to training, scholarships for short-term training may be available based on funding and eligibility for occupations and industries that are experiencing high growth and offer individuals with a rewarding career pathway. Uh, some avenues for training may include CNC operator, IT help desk support, office clerk, nursing assistant, and so much more. We would be here quite a while if I had to list them all, but this is just to give you an idea. So some services to ensure success, what may be offered, 
here at Workforce Solutions for Tarrant County is transportation, work-related expenses, education-related expenses, and emergency assistance. Again, I have to stress that this is based upon eligibility, individual needs, and funding availability. But to give you an idea for transportation, usually it's done so in the form of gas cards. We had one young lady who was needing some assistance in getting interview appropriate attire. And based on her needs and eligibility, we were able to help her. We had one young man in a nursing program who while he could get into the nursing program, he just didn't have any more funds left over for his scrubs and white shoes. Based on his needs and eligibility and funding, we were able to assist him. So if you're finding that maybe you could use some more assistance, whether it's intensive work search services or some other services to ensure success, like the ones you see here on the screen, definitely come check out your local workforce center. So you may notice on WorkforceSolutions.net that there's a lot that is offered, but let's make certain that you know where to look for all these great resources. On your homepage of WorkforceSolutions.net, it's a little tiny, but you'll see the link for events. Go ahead and give it a click. That way, if you're looking for any virtual workshops, maybe a specific location or date, of when these are being hosted, you can scroll down and see what events are going on. Again, whether this is for orientations, virtual workshops, as well as any virtual job fairs going on. Now, one thing that you have to keep in mind is for these workshops, while they are free to attend, you'll just need to make certain that you have registered for each workshop. They are chopped up into two sessions. The first session, and each one lasts for an hour, is at 10 a.m. The second session, which is a continuation of the first, is at 2 p.m. So what's nice is you can take these workshops in any order that your schedule will allow. It's just for any workshop that you are wishing to attend, you must make certain that you get registered. When you register, you'll wanna then check your email to get the meeting ID and password, again, because this is all being hosted virtually. So when it comes to individualized services, your next steps are to make certain that you've gotten registered on workintexas.com. For those of you who have already registered, you may want to peruse through your account and make certain that you do some updating, whether you need to look through the paths section on your dashboard or maybe to revamp your resume because your resume will only live as long as three months on this website before it expires. And we want to make certain that you're always able to show your employers your skill sets and abilities. For individualized services, gentlemen, you'll want to make certain that you verify your selective service registration. If you don't remember where your card is, that's okay. You can go to the website sss.gov and put in your information so that way you can find out uh, whether or not you have signed up for selective service as well as your specific number. We would collect documentation from you and then you would also meet with a career counselor and eligibility specialist. Again, I highly encourage people to take a look at these resources because it doesn't cost anything but time and patience and your uh, participation. And if it means having another pair of eyes in your corner to help you along your career pathway or suggest services, I highly advise that you take a look at it. Because again, we're here to help you. Now, we're not shy people. We are all over social media. You'll find us through Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, and one of my favorites, uh, text alerts. What's nice is you can get a heads up through your phone without being bombarded. You would want to text the word alerts, A-L-E-R-T-S, to the phone number 817-413-4000. It's a good way to stay in the know if you don't want to peruse through your email and just get a quick howdy and information. Uh, you may get information such as orientations that are going on, virtual job fairs that are happening. Again, we'd rather you stay in the know than in the dark. So when it comes to workforce solutions for Tarrant County, you found the good stuff. Make certain that you've booked Mark, our website, www.workforcesolutions.net. And you can always reach out to us at our main number, 817-413-4000. Aside from reaching us at our main number, we did wanna also encourage you 
that if you need some immediate assistance and maybe if you can't get through, you're more than welcome to chat with us online virtually through the WorkforceSolutions.net website, or you can always email us at info, I-N-F-O, at WorkforceSolutions.net. Again, I very much appreciate your time. Thank you for attending our welcome and information session. We hope to see you at our local workforce centers. Don't forget your reservation, and we'll be more than happy to help you out. Thank you, take care, and keep safe.